Behind this Swiss door, global percussion things are happening. Let's have a look and meet one of the world's most versatile percussionists. Hi, Pete Lockett. I'm actually a very young man. I uh, was born quite a while ago when I was very small, <laughs> 1963. I'm, I'm based in London, I lived in London for quite a few years, originally from uh, Portsmouth on the south coast in uh, Great Britain. Well, instruments I play now. There's a, there's a the list is too long, but uh, you know I kind of think of my instruments as a, as my family. So as a multi percussionist, you know I kind of got uh, my family covers pretty much the whole world from North and South Indian to you know Arabic, obviously Western kind of drum set like a hybrid sort of drum set like Trilok Gertu kind of style with a 12 by two kick drum and loads and loads of sound effects and funny stuff. So anything that makes a noise basically is my instrument. I'm very lucky, I've got some amazing, amazing companies, I've got uh, Sabian Cymbals, Remo Percussion and Drum Heads, uh, Mapex Drums and uh, Vic Firth have got my uh, signature stick, so they all make everything possible for me on these uh, tours around the world, so uh, yeah, great, great companies and check their gear out. The first percussionist I knew by name, <laughs> well it's probably Zaki Hussain actually, because uh, he was, he was uh, I played drum set up until that point, I, you know, started quite late and came across the Indian, Indian music in, in London, it was a free concert and it was Zaki Hussain and, uh, you know, still one of my total favourites, I mean, even, even today, just like a, a god of percussion, beamed down from outer space I think, it's fair to say. Well, I got hooked on drums by, uh, uh, you know, I started very late. I was walking past a drum shop in Portsmouth and there was a sign in the window, drum lessons. I was 19 and um, I was like, right, hooked there right from the very first, uh, very first. It's the first thing that really made any sense to me and that I really was, you know, properly into. And, uh, you know, a couple of weeks later I was in a punk band smashing my drums up after the gig and uh, that was the beginning of my, uh, my you know, life's dedication to uh, drumming and, and music. Well, who wouldn't love drums for a start? You know, drums are just like, they, you know, if you go any culture in the world, you know, there's drums and drums are a really important part of that culture. And from my journeys across the world and all the collaborations with, with musicians from everywhere, from Sudan and India and Japan and Pakistan and like all across the world, you know, drums are just like the lifeblood. And for me, you know, they're my heartbeat, they're my, they're my pulse, they're, they're my inspiration, they're my desire. They're, it's just, I'm just so lucky to have drums in my life. Music to check out. Well, I tell you what, I'm listening to at the moment more than anything. Is there's two things I'm listening to a lot at the moment. One is Animals as Leaders with Matt Garska, who's just like a totally killing band. I saw them with my wife a few weeks ago in London, and it just one of the best gigs ever. And a, another person I'm listening to a lot at the moment is a guy called uh, Zohar Fresco, who's a uh, Israeli frame drummer, and he and he sings, plays frame drums, and it's just like amazing, just like ridiculous material, just like super cool. So yeah, they're two things I'm big into at the moment but I've got a very very eclectic you know listening list so uh, yeah it's a bit like my list of instruments <laughs> inspiration I mean it's it's I'm just so lucky you know that for, to have to have been in so many situations with so many amazing players I mean some of the you know incredible you know drum set players I've worked with are, you know an incredible inspiration I was just performing with Steve Gadd in, in, in Croatia I'm here with Russ Miller and obviously Steve Smith Benny Graham and the list is, is, is kind of endless really but you know for me my, my inspiration comes from when I see someone's heart coming out in the music you know it's just it, there's, there's just something there's something when you see someone playing for an audience rather than at 
at an audience and someone who's sharing their passion and their love of music rather than ramming it down someone's throat with their you know virtuosic technique that's just for technique's sake so you know inspiration is from the heart of uh, of all the great players that we're lucky enough to have on this strangely messed up planet Yeah, well, my forte on percussion. I, you know, it's. I mean, my main studies have been north and north and south Indian. But you know, my my, you know, the 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 width and the breadth of, of what I do is very wide. So I kind of think of all of my percussion instruments as my family, and I, you know, I kind of kind of create with that whole family. So you know, I wouldn't. I haven't got a favourite child, and so you know, it, it's. You know, I, I kind of love it all and I'm, I'm lucky enough to be able, in so many situations where I can you know, freely pick and choose you know, what instruments and, and what I'm going to play um, you know, when, I, when I want to play it. And that's kind of that's an advantage of, of you know, spending so long in the industry and, and finding out what you want to do. And like, as a younger player, you've got to look at what, what is it you want to do, you know, where do you want to go with music. And you really, you know, in the beginning, you might have to do certain gigs that you don't want to do, but don't forget your real love in, in the whole quest as being a musician. No, I do, I'm lucky, my, my dream is my reality, so there's no dream gig for me, I'm just, I just very, very happy with a lot of the opportunities that, that come my way, and also philosophically, I'm a great believer of living in the moment, because a lot of people live in the future or the past, and they kind of miss where they are and what they've got in that present moment, so I kind of live in the moment, and, and it's, it's, for me, it's an incredibly satisfactory way of, of uh, you know, existing as a, as a musician. A life motto, well, like a motto that I use a lot in, in music, because I kind of was really into a lot of philosophy and psychology, you know, Carl Gustav Jung and, and, and stuff like that, and also, you know, philosophically, you know, Immanuel Kant, for example, is an amazing philosopher, and he had a, a concept of uh, uh, praxis and poesis, and, and the way that he used the, those words and defined them was that, uh, you know, poesis is an action that contains a goal outside of itself. Um, whereas praxis is an action that contains its own goal. So if you play music because you love playing music and that's the end goal, then you're in good faith with yourself. But if you play music, uh, you know, with poesis, with an action that's out, with a goal um, that's outside of the actual action itself, then you're kind of in bad faith. If you're playing music to become rich or famous or prove that you're not inadequate or prove how, you know, amazing that you are, then you're kind of in bad faith. So, you know, an action that contains its own goal, praxis and poesis, Immanuel Kant, philosopher of the Century, many centuries ago, of course. Pete, can you show me your hands? They must be uh, very special since um, people like Peter Gabriel and Robert Plant and Pooh, the London Philharmonics and Steve Gadd and Russ Miller and the list goes uh, on for a long time. They are Björk. <laughs> they want to play with you because of your hands, partially, I guess. Yeah. So what's so special about them? Well, I don't know, they're definitely attached to my arms and the arms are very colorful, so <laughs> maybe that's a part of the reason. But uh, no, I think you know, what comes out of your, your hands is what you, you know, spend many years um, you know, developing in your mind. So it's kind of building that connection, I think, to, to you know, all of the things that you've studied and all of the, um, you know, uh, all of the, the, the music and all of the, the techniques and it's about you know how does that get articulated you know how does that get kind of expressed and brought into the world and and through your hands you know for me it's it's an amazing thing to be <clears throat> a drum set player and also you know a percussionist because um, you know with, with your hands you've got a direct contact you've got a direct feel uh, and a connection with with the with the instrument literally skin on skin on skin and it's it's kind of a, a kind of a great kind of spiritual sort of uh, connection you know the drum and the, and the hand and so you know i'm i'm, I'm very uh, very blessed to have uh, music in my life that i can uh, bring to the world articulated through the uh, the locket paws okay but um, still, you have um, very flexible fingers. I think you're very fast when you play your hand percussion instrument, the frame drum, for example, or Kajira it was last night. Mm -hmm. um, do you have like a 
in, in finger exercise you can do everywhere or maybe you do without even knowing while yeah, you're waiting no. for something? Actually, I don't do any exercises or any warm-ups before gigs or anything. <laughs> actually, it's, but people are always surprised actually when they kind of see particularly the intricate kind of hand drumming and, and stuff like that. But, you know, for me, I think it's, it, you know, I got uh, asked this question in, in one of the workshops today and, and I kind of said, you know, the people, it's, it's, it, you do all the body work and the, and the building, you know, muscle building and everything is you know when when you're younger you know in your 20s and 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 30s and then you know hopefully you've instilled as much as that kind of intuition you know mind to hand uh, you know stuff as as possible but you know a lot of the the techniques that you find in the world I mean even if you look at stick control uh, you know if you look at you know fast intricate finger drumming that you find in India and Arabic Arabic drums such as the Rick for example um, then it's all about being relaxed and it's it's the it's the 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 calm way that the technique is is articulated. I mean, it's a very very important uh, aspect of it. So it's not like uh, I mean, you know, you're you're getting the sound out of the drum, not 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 putting it in. You know, so it's about that kind of delicate balance between relaxation and and power and strength. Okay, uh, you already talked about the mind that that's important. Um, how about corner call? Corner call. Um, how important is that um, for a percussionist? Well, you know, Conakol and that whole system, the system that, it, that you know, from North and South India, Conakol is a, a South Indian term, but the idea of phonetics that represent syllables, you know, syllables that represent strokes on drums and different rhythms is very important because it, it gets to a direct phraseology. So, you know, if you read something that's written, you know, on, on for snare drum on one line or for drum set across the whole, you know, stave, then, you know, it, it, you don't get a direct link to the phraseology, whereas with the spoken word, word, you've got a direct link to a phraseology, which kind of really leads to, um, you know, the possibility of a great musical expression so it's a it's a really um it's a really important thing and it of course of enables you to strip away the pure rhythm of something and recite it with your voice and with the clap of the hand and it's a very primal sort of thing it's a very uh very a priori sort of recitation of of rhythm so you know i think it's a very important thing for percussionists to get into not necessarily just conical but just reciting rhythms you know and uttering you know the voice in a in a kind of rhythmically poetic manner okay and uh, last but not least uh, you use your feet also not every percussionist does that actually when i was in class a bass player said to one of the drummers uh, well if you can control your feet you should become a percussionist <laughs> <laughs> but you play the feet how important is that for percussionists today yeah to to a point i mean if you know the, using the feet and and is you know is a, is another possible voice but in actual fact for my hybrid you know drum set i mean here i've got a regular drum set so i'm using using my feet as a as a drum set player but as a percussionist i don't really use my feet that that much at all really i mean it's it's uh, particularly like with the hybrid drum set and and the you know some of the other percussion uh, voices then i don't really um, use my feet that much you know obviously with the um, with the hybrid drum set I mainly use the left foot because it's on the hi-hat but the right foot doesn't do anything it's the the bass drum is like a 12 by 2 drum in the you know where the small tom um, would be so there's a lot of linear kind of patterns that are played with the you know with the hands and and the, and the and the left foot so um, but you know I think it's anything anything that that enables you to articulate your your music in in more detail and uh, you know get to your vision of, of music is uh, is an advantage to any any percussionist or musician at all for that matter so thank you very much for thank you your time. it's my pleasure yeah he has been talking the last three days I think and <laughs> it's almost over but he took the time for you guys too so if you get curious about Pete Lockett, check out his website and his socials. He's very uh, busy there as well. Indeed. <laughs> you can follow him all around the world. And um, yeah, he has um, several um, albums and DVDs. So get to know his playing. It's um, very worthwhile. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ciao. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!